hello students uh, this is a simply supported uh, beam uh, this beam is called simply supported beam determine the support reactions for the beam shown in figure so here there are several combinations of loads are given don't confuse by seeing the problem here couples are given udl given uvl given combination of udl and uvl given so uh, so a simple problem but uh, don't by panic by seeing the uh, whatever the sketch written on the board so first write the free body diagram so the free body diagram is very very simple uh, first whatever the support reaction is there write the support reaction so here you are having hinge support hinge is having two support reactions here you are having roller support roller is having only one unknown reaction so at hinge you are having two unknown reactions that is va as well as ha that is va va as well as ha ha roller is having only one unknown reaction one unknown reaction that is vb that is vb vb now see first thing here two equal and opposite forces 20 20 with a perpendicular distance of 1 meter with a perpendicular distance of 1 meter is given so this particular thing two equal and opposite forces with a perpendicular distance constitute a couple couple the effect of couple is 20 into 1 and it is clockwise effect it is clockwise effect so this is couple this two equal and opposite forces 20 into 1 so we are getting 20 kilo newton meter of couple so this is 20 kilo newton meter if it is 2 meter then 20 into 2 it will become 40 kilo newton meter you have to see the direction it will rotate clockwise therefore it is a clockwise couple next at another point of 1 meter at the same point we are having anti clockwise couple anti clockwise couple that couple the intensity is 10 kilo newton meter 10 kilo newton meter afterwards afterwards first this flap this span see this is we are having udl only this much is udl so the intensity of udl is same 10 10 so therefore 10 so this is udl of 10 this portion this portion is udl above the portion is uvl this uvl is on the beam therefore 10 but this is on udl but the total height here to here height is 30 30 but we are considered this udl intensity that is 10 so 30 minus 10 is 20 therefore 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 whatever this is 20 and another one is 10 10 total 30 so here uvl is also 10 as well as udl this portion that is also 10 This U angle is only twenty, not thirty. Only twenty. Therefore, first you consider this U angle. This U angle is ten. Ten into three, that is thirty. Ten into three, W into L, W into L, that is thirty kilo newton. Thirty kilo newton. Accept, accept, accept. This is one point five meters, and this is also one point five meters. Three by two, it will become one point five. at the same span we are having uvl of intensity 20 not 30 30 minus 10 it will become 20 therefore wl by 2 so what is the value 20 into 3 by 2 20 into 3 by 2 20 into 3 by 2 30 that is also 30 but what is the distance for uvl two third of the distance from apex One third of the distance from base. This is the apex and this is the base. So two third of three. Therefore, this is two meter. Two meter from apex and remaining is one meter. Remaining is one meter. Remaining is one meter. Next, this is uvl. So ten into three, thirty by two. So it will become ten into three, thirty by two is fifteen. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. wl by 2 the value is are converting into point to that is wl by 2 15 kN this is apex from apex 2/3 of the distance 2/3 of 2 is so this distance is 2 meter and the remaining distance is 1 meter 1 meter so this is the free body diagram this is the free body diagram so you can write the distance whatever the distance here to here distance and here to here distance one couple distance other couple couple distance so 2 meter and this is 1 meter 
वन मीटर थ्री मीटर थ्री मीटर लुक एंड ऑब्जर्व दिस इज थ्री मीटर वन पॉइंट फाइव वन पॉइंट फाइव टोटल थ्री थ्री मीटर टू प्लस वन थ्री थ्री मीटर वन वन मीटर प्लस टू मीटर थ्री सो वी डिस कन्वर्टेड ऑल डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड्स इनटू पॉइंट लोड इन फ्री बॉडी डायग्राम इट्स वेरी सिंपल द गिवन स्ट्रक्चर इज फॉर लुकिंग इट लुक लाइक ए सम व्हाट इज द एक्स्ट्रॉडिनरी टाइप बट द थिंग इज हियर टू इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट फोर्सेस 20 20 विद अ परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस कांस्टिट्यूट ए कपल सो व्हाट इज द इफेक्ट इट विल रोटेट क्लॉकवाइज देयरफॉर 20 1 क्लॉकवाइज 20 किलो न्यूटन मीटर next this is anti clockwise couple is given right as it is next here you have to observe this span here this combination udl and uvl but what is the total height total height is 30 same 10 10 both 10 kilo newton per meter intensity is for this udl as well as this uvl so first consider this 10 for udl so that is 10 into 3 it is 30 acts at l by 2 That is three by two means one point five, one point five over. Now only consider this ten. So total is height is thirty. What is thirty minus ten? That is twenty. So the UVL intensity is twenty. How to reduce UVL into point cloud? WL by two. So twenty into L is three meter. Sixty by two is thirty. See that is thirty. What is the center of distance for triangle? Two third of the distance from apex. One third of the distance from base. So two third of The distance is three meter for triangle. So two by three into three, three three get cancelled. It will become two meters. The remaining is three minus two is one meter over. Then this span is direct UVL. There is no combination. So the intensity is ten. How to reduce into point two? WL by two. W is ten. L is three. Thirty by two is fifteen. Same. This is apex from apex. Two third of the length. Two by three into three. It will become two meter. Total three meter. So three minus two. This is one meter. So we Just converted all distributed load into point flow, and here we are having in support two unknown reactions. Here we are having roller one unknown reaction. So this is regarding free body diagram. What is the next step? Apply equations of equilibrium. Sigma F X equals zero. All right side forces are positive and left side forces are negative. Therefore, plus H A. There is any no other horizontal forces. Therefore, H A equals zero. Next apply sigma F Y equals zero. All upward forces are positive and all downward forces are negative. So here plus V A. This is couple. Don't consider in force section. So plus V A minus thirty minus thirty minus fifteen plus V D equals zero. Plus V A next minus thirty next minus thirty next minus fifteen next plus V D. Equals zero. Therefore, V A plus V B equals. What is the value? Seventy five. Yes, seventy five. Take equation number one because there are two unknowns. Next, consider moment at A equals zero or moment at B equals zero. Generally, we will consider left hand because all loads are coming on right side. It's very easy to compute. Therefore, we take sigma moment at A equals zero. All clockwise moments are positive and anti-clockwise moments are negative. With respect to this point, H A is acts in the same line of action. It won't create any moment. V A acts in the same line of action. It won't create any moment. But it is already a moment plus 20 clockwise. It is already a moment minus 10 anti-clockwise. Don't multiply with these distances because you have to observe the unit. It's already a moment. So minus 20. Y minus y minus because anti-clockwise. This is minus. This is clockwise, right? Clockwise. Therefore, plus twenty. So clockwise. Next, minus ten. This is anti-clockwise. Minus because this is anti-clockwise. Next, with respect to this point, thirty moving in this line because of this perpendicular distance. What is the perpendicular distance? Two plus one three plus one four four plus one point five. Total how much? This distance five. is one point five, right? Total is five point. Ah, uh, what? Two plus one is three, four, five point five meters. This five point five meters, we take a turn towards A in clockwise direction. Therefore, plus thirty into five point five. This is clockwise. Next, this thirty moving in this line. 
because of this perpendicular distance what is this perpendicular distance 5.5 plus or you can take like this 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4 4 plus two. this is 2 4 plus 2 6 meters see 2 plus 1 is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 for this 30 4 plus 2 it will become 6 plus 30 into 6 this is also clockwise then this last one moving upward because of the total perpendicular distance how much up to here total length of the beam 2 plus 2 4 plus 3 7 plus 3 10 but it rotating in anti clockwise minus vb into 10 which is equal to 0 so 20 minus 10 plus what is the value of 30 into 5.5 13 to 5.5? 165. 165 plus 180 equals 10 VB. I am taking on right side. Equals 10 VB. Equals 10 VB. Equals 10 VB. So, which is equals 10 VB. Next, so what is the value of VB? VB equal, what is this total? 355. 355 by 10. 10. 355 by 10. What is the value of VB? 18. 18 kilo Newton. So positive value indicates upward. Now substitute this VB value to equation number 1. You are getting VA. What is the value of VA? 75 minus VB. 57. So VA equals 75 minus 18. What is the value of VA? 57. 57 kilo newton. This is also acting upward direction. So very very simple problem, but very very important problem, very very easy problem. Uh, by writing the free body diagram, by applying the equations of statics, we can compute the unknown reactions VA, VB easily. This is simply supported deep with combination of loads, couples. UDL, UVL and UDL UVL combination. First, write the free body diagram. Next, apply equations of statics and find the unknown reactions at supports VA, HA, VB. HA is 0 because there is no horizontal loads. So, please follow this basic simple steps. Thank you.